This Gamer Spot's brought to you by Retro Magazine. Subscribe now at readretro.com. Also brought to you by GameGavel.com. The auction site built by gamers for gamers. in Hartsville, South Carolina at Matt's View Game Exchange. I've got Matt here and Eric. So Matt, when did you open the store? Um, we opened the store up, um, roughly been open about three and a half years. Um, the exact date, October, November. What, what got you motivated to actually open up your own game store? Um, actually, I grew up with uh, a mom and dad that had a video store and um, they went from videotapes to video games. They started uh, renting out a Nintendo, and that had such a, a wait list for so long that they said, hey, you know, let's, let's get into the video game business. So they did that for uh, years, I mean, since 80, roughly, let's say, 89. Um, and then it closed down for uh, about five years while I was in high school, and then my parents moved out here, and uh, me and my dad started messing around, and, and uh, doing a little bit of Craigslist, going to flea markets and stuff like that, and um, you know, just lining up little deals here and there, and then slowly, gradually turned it into a video game store. And how's, has business, business been really good over the past three years? Yeah, it's, it's, it's had its up and downs, but it's on, a, it's on a steady incline, definitely. So I'd definitely say it's been, it's been uh, growing a lot, so. Uh, and you also collect games as well, besides selling, right? Yeah. What's your favorite system you like to collect for? Um, I would have to go with Nintendo, just uh, mainly because that's what I started on, really. Which Nintendo? The NES? The NES, NES? yeah, definitely the NES. Um, a lot of my favorite games are going to be on the Super Nintendo, but um, like I said, with the Nintendo being what I started out on, that's kind of that kind of hits home for me. So I'd definitely go with Nintendo on that. What's your top five favorite games on the Nintendo NES? Top five favorite games. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Tournament Fighters. Um, Little Samson is definitely up there. It's one of those games that you love and hate at the same time because of the difficulty, but it, it's an it's an amazing game. Um, just recently, uh, I was just messing around and started playing through Flintstones 2. Absolutely fell in love with that game. Um, it's not one that I ever played as a kid. I didn't I didn't play it until maybe a couple months ago and. Uh, sat down was like, hey, I'm going to beat the first level and just mess around, and that led to me taking half a day off. So Hours later, play you're still stones. playing it? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a sign of a good game. Definitely, definitely. Um, the Mega Man games, definitely like the Mega Man games. He's definitely the Mega Man fanatic, and I think he kind of pushed that on me a little bit. I didn't like them when I was a kid because they were too hard, mm -hmm. but uh, he kind of sparked an interest in Mega Man for me. Um, man, what else? Obviously Mario 3. That's, that's, that's one that... One that as a child, I, I pretty much every time I turned my Nintendo on, that's what I was playing, so. So what's your favorite yeah. system, Eric? Um, my favorite system, the Neo Geo. Um, it's definitely my favorite, the Neo Geo home system. Um, to collect for, probably right now, Super NES. Uh, I've been really getting into Super NES collecting. Um, I did NES for a while. Um, I still collect NES stuff too, but right now it's been a lot of Super NES stuff. What's what's a couple of your favorite Super Nintendo games? Um, Super Nintendo, Earthbound would be my number one. Um, that's what actually got me into collecting. Um, Earthbound, probably like Final Fantasy, Pocky and Rocky, um, Final Fantasy three, and Zelda. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> of course, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> um, Zelda: Link to the Past is probably my favorite game still to this day. That, no is game. Game. that is a good game. That is a good game. There's a few. Uh, I like a lot of fighting games. I like a lot of the, the side scroll and uh, beat them up too. So there's a few ones out there. Having your own video game store, do you have any kind of hints or advice for someone out there who may want to open up their own video game store? Stuff to avoid. Stuff to avoid. Um, yeah, that's tough. It's it's. I can honestly say, up to this point, you know. 
even with my parents having a video game store for so many years and then us opening this one up, it's been three years, it's a constant learning process. I mean, every every day you are learning more and more about it. And it's the second that you think you know everything or you don't, it's, it's a constant learning process. Um, I, I would just say it's, it, it's a constant study. Do your research constantly. Um, there's, it's going to have its, its rocky parts, but stick with it, you know. Um, Follow your gut. If you're, if you're not sure of, about something, then do your research before you get into it. Yeah. Um, there's tons of times that he wanted to buy something or thought it would be a great deal, um, but just had that feeling something was, wasn't right, and um, do a little bit of research. Um, for instance, we had an Atari deal he was looking at, a bunch of really hard Atari games to find. Um, and um, he was going to end up getting it, and I seen something out the corner of my eye that didn't look right. And um, I came to him and was like, that looks fake. And sure enough, the whole thing was fake. Um, oh. And it was, and it, was, it, was it was a, a nice yeah. chunk of money that, that would have been, been wasted. So it's things like that. You definitely got to do your research. You got to know what you're buying, you know. It's because well, you got somebody you can fall back on to discuss yeah. things like that. That helps a lot. And that's that's what's nice about having the three of us here is each one of us kind of specialize in our in our own department in a sense. And when you put all three of us together, it really helps. You know, there's certain things that you know we'll go to him about, and and I mean this guy's knowledge on games in general is just ridiculous. But um, we all bounce ideas off each other or bounce deals off each other and stuff like that. And and having all three of us and everything we all three bring to the table, it, it really is. It works out pretty nice. So, what kind of future plans do you have for your game store? You know, we've been we've been talking a lot about that lately. Um, originally, you know, I, me personally, I really wanted to open them up everywhere. Um, the one thing we we've run into in discussing that though is is you kind of get rid of the the mom and pop spiel, mm -hmm. and that's what we really want. We want to be able to. You know, somebody comes in and, and you know wants to negotiate a price a little bit. That's we love doing that. We love, you know, negotiating when someone comes in to sell us something. We love negotiating price with them. When somebody comes in to buy something and, and wants it for a less price, we love to negotiate with them a little bit. Um, some of that stuff you can do it, but some of that stuff's a little bit harder to do. Um, when you have a chain. When you have a chain. Um, so we. I would, I would I would like to do that. That would be I think that would be awesome if we could you know work the kinks out and stuff. But that, I'd say that would be my goal for the future right now is to kind of start popping up Matt's Game Exchange, start branching out, especially in some of these areas where people uh, you know you get a lot of people we don't have this in my area you know and and yeah, that's true for North every, Carolina. Yeah, there's very few places to buy retro games. Yeah, very few. I North think, and South. I think it's a necessary that everybody has a you know a local game store to go to. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. Friendly people, friendly environment, you know. You, you help out the gamer that just wants a good game to play. You help out the collector that's looking for that piece to finish his collection. I think everybody needs a local game store. Oh, yeah. What are your typical business hours? Uh, we run uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 8. Um, we've kind of fluctuated on that a little bit, but we're stuck at, at Monday through Saturday, 10 to 8 now. So. And you do... Have people that bring stuff in that you buy, you actually buy games yeah. off of people and stuff? we trade. buy, sell, trade, um, we do repairs, so this is our repair guy, he takes care of it. What, what consoles do you repair, what range? Um, pretty much anything, as, as long as it's going to be in a reasonable area. I'm not going to go do a $60 repair on a system that's only worth 30 um, unless yeah. that's what you really want. Um, we try to be, as long as it's in range of what the system is worth and what it's valued at, um, unless that's really what you want to do. But we would hate to charge somebody $80 for something that they can get a new system at this price. Um, but we repair everything. I mean, right now I'm working on um, putting an um, AV mod on a, a Clinical Vision. Um, awesome. Probably today or tomorrow. Um, it's the first time I've ever done that. Um, now, is this an AV mod of your own, or did you find a kit? Uh, looking through tutorials and getting girls, you go ahead and go with it. Um, I did a, a Turbo Graphics um, probably about a month ago. A, a guy contacted us from Myrtle Beach, and he said he had two in his closet, and they've been sitting there, and um, he wants to get them fixed. And one was a simple fix where the core was bad, and the other one, the, the RF core was bad. And he said, "Well, I would like to hook it up to the AV." So I was like, "Sure, I'll, I'll give it a try." And 
we definitely got that going for him. So he can kind fix of, anything. Kind of looks at uh, you know, he'll do his research on stuff, especially stuff he's never done before, and then uh, find a challenge and it's fun. He'll kind of <laughs> get info from a bunch of people and and kind of come up with his own way. Kind of take some ideas from That's here awesome. and there, and and you know, it's it's great watching him do some of these repairs because you know. Like for example, we do a lot of 360 and, and PS3 stuff. Yeah. And you know, and when he started out, you know, there were some of these issues, and, and I mean, now he's on a full blown. I mean, he can do it with his eyes closed. So. That's awesome. Yeah, he's kind of I mean, come up with what works for him, and. and we, we had a 360 for throwing out there, um, where the we couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. It was when I first got here. I never really worked on the slim systems too much, mm -hmm. and um, I just kind of didn't know what to do with it. I had no answers for it and giving it back to the customer. And about six months later, she came in for something. Um, said it was a cord on hooked in that, that same Xbox. And uh, she, I was like, well, didn't we have this before? And she's like, yeah, that was a problem. And it took two seconds, I knew that there was a piece of plastic that was broken on the bottom of the tray. But that was just after so many times of, of messing with it and figuring things out. Hurt. But it, it's crazy to see that happen. But, have you ever thought about doing any kind of like a special events in your store, like tournaments or anything yeah. like that? We're doing a lot of a lot of talking about tournaments. Um, a couple of things we got to iron out, but uh, we, we're we're definitely that's where Come. we're headed right now. Yeah. That's we're, we're we're wanting to do everything. You know, we want to do we want to do tournaments. We want to do you know. Have the customers come in, and if you can answer these ten Nintendo trivia questions, you're gonna get. The, you know, we just we're, we're having fun here, man. That's that's what we want to do, and, and yeah. tournaments are definitely on our priority list right now. And we want to do, you know, there's going to be the, the newer stuff, you know, the Call of Duty Ghost and, um, you know, Madden and stuff like that. But we're, we're getting creative with it. We're wanting to go back through some of these older, you know, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64s, kind of do a triathlon where, you know, you might play Mario and keep your score from that. And then you might play, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat. on Xbox 360. Yeah, just, but we want to go with some of these, some of these older titles to get to get people back into oh yeah this is what i used to play this is this brings back memories uh, another project you two are looking to do is uh, your own little youtube show as well yeah yeah so you can uh, talk a little bit about that um yeah uh we're we are working on different we're still working out the kinks um but you know we we do around the store and um we wanted to put it out that like i was saying um that we're not just that, that every day, that we're just here to get a check. We're not here just to take your money. We're not here just to sell you games. Um, we want to show you that we do have a passion for this. We do collect. I collect very heavily. And he's getting to collect very heavily. Um, that we, we love playing these NES games. That we got very good rivalry, be rivalry between me and him playing fighting games. And, and uh, so who's better at what? Um, Right now, we're mixing a little bit of everything, but, um, you know, shopping and finding and buying and talking and, and reviews and history, but we're trying to find that, that group of where we're at. We're getting there. We're pretty close. We want a, a show that, that really... It's not what everybody else has. That's not what everybody else has, but we really want to aim it to every aspect of gaming. We don't want to limit it to, you know, um, doing just a video game review or... or just doing a buying and selling. I mean, we, we, we do everything video games, whether it's while we're at work or we're walking through pawn shops and flea markets. We just kind of want to give, we want, we want something for everybody in the show. There's some people that collect, there's some people that just play the games, you know. There's some people that are, that are uh, into, into hunting at pawn shops and flea markets and stuff. Kind of just want to want to give something to everybody there's not there are people out there that are doing it, but there's not a lot. Most people kind of stick to one aspect of it, and we kind of want to show the the entire video game industry as a whole and every and every aspect of it. So we're we're working on that, and hoping hoping to start popping out some episodes here soon. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, let me take care of your store. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate you coming by, bud. Now let's take a look at this awesome store.
Well, if you ever find yourself in the Hartsville, South Carolina area, you really need to stop by this store and give it a good once over. A lot of friendly people in here, a lot of great retro items, and plus modern items too. Come by and say hi to Eric, Tom, and Matt, and get your retro game on. Thanks for watching. <laughs>